All right, AVP2 Primal Hunt. Let's do this. Now, this is part two of a two-part tutorial, so if you haven't seen that, I highly suggest you go and watch the first part of this video and then come back to this one. The first one, I installed AVP2 Base Game, and now this is AVP2 Primal Hunt. What you're going to need to do is go back to this page right here. Link is in the description. And you're going to come down here to where it says Primal Hunt Master Server Patch 1.0 and you're going to click on that in order for it to start the download. Once the download is finished, you're going to see it right here where it says ADP2 install 1.0. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click into this folder right here that says all in one. And here you're going to see AVP2 Primal Hunt, double click into that. And now you're going to double click into where it says Primal Hunt Full Game. And then double click on this in order for it to start the installer. Okay, so what you're seeing right now is just a black screen. Uh, I don't know why the recording blanks this out, I, I have no idea. But all it's doing is just asking for admin permission. I'm going to say yes, um, as you will too, just say yes. Um, and it'll bring this up, you say next, you say next, and install. Okay, now that that's finished, you're gonna leave this checked off because you want the shortcut and hit finish. Now we're going to go back a folder, and we're going to double click into this that says no CD crack. We're gonna double click on this, and it'll ring this up. Um, you're gonna drop this into the directory, so how to get there like an easy way to get there is you're going to right click on this little icon here and then you're going to click on where it says open file location that'll bring you directly to the directory uh, but if you want to find it manually it's in your C drive program files 86 and then there's a folder labeled aliens vs predator 2 primal hunt you're going to click into that and you'll be here um, but now we're going to take this drag it and drop it into the directory and say continue. Now we can exit out of this. We can actually exit out of this. Okay, once that's done, you're gonna go back to your downloads folder, which is this right here, and we're going to double click on this guy right here. This is the master server patch that we downloaded earlier at the very beginning of this video. Uh, you're gonna come up here to this file right here and double click on that to launch that installer. Again, nothing fancy going on, it's just asking for uh, admin permissions, I'm going to say yes. We're going to hit next, we're going to hit install, and now finish. We can close this out, and we can close out the downloads folder, we don't need this anymore. Okay, so now that all of that is done, we're going to do one more step, which is take this auto exe config file and we're going to drag that and drop it onto the desktop. Now the reason why we have to do that is because for some reason when you try to edit the config file in the directory, um, it won't take, it won't allow it. So you have to actually take it out of there, edit the, the config file and then drop it back in. It's, it's weird, but trust me, this is what you have to do. So drag that, drop it to the desktop, say continue. Now we're going to open this up. So you're going to see this uh, right here, the very top, where it says screen width, screen height, and game screen width, game screen height. This is where you're going to enter in your uh, your resolution. So in my case, I've got a 1440, so I'm going to do 2560 by 1440. Uh, if you're running 1080, you would do 1920 by 1080. Um, and it's the same thing for, for game screen width and game screen height. So, like that, and like that, right? These are my settings. Again, if you've got 1080, you will put in your resolution. Now scroll all the way to the bottom here, and you'll see this, this range bind, little sequence of uh, codes here. This is how we're going to get our uh, torch to work. So, in the description, you'll see where, where you need to copy and paste, you're going to paste it right here. All right, and after you've pasted it, it's going to look just like this. Now we're going to say file and save. You can close that out. And we're going to drag this and drop it right back into the directory. And say continue. 
almost done. Actually, the installation process is finished, but there's still a couple things we need to do. So we're gonna close that out. We're gonna open up uh, Primal Hunt, and you'll see this little window here. We're gonna go to Display, say OK, and this is important. Make sure to click on whatever graphics card you're using. Don't leave it on primary display. Click on whatever you, you're running as a graphics card. In my case, it's the 980, and we're gonna hit OK. And now we're gonna hit on play, and it's gonna bring up this little menu. Uh, we're gonna go down here and select high detail, and that'll lead us into the game. Okay, now that we're in the game, we're gonna go to options. Then we're gonna go to graphics. And then here, we're going to scroll through until we get to whatever uh, resolution you're using. So I'm going to actually right click to go backwards until I get to 1440. Um, you would scroll through until you find 1080 if you're running a 1080. Uh, and then we're going to go to detail and click that to best. And then we're going to go back. All right, now we're going to go back one more. And we're going to go to single player. I'm going to choose corporate and launch. And I'm going to just spacebar spam throughout the, uh, the movies here. Okay, now that we're in, you're going to hear me press uh, H, which is the hotkey for the hacking tool, which doesn't work in Primal Hunt. Uh, I don't think there's any instance where you actually need it, but it's still in the game. So I'm going to show you how to get that working. Also the torch. So we're going to hit escape and we're going to go to options and then we're going to go to controls. Now we're going to click on Corporate. And you see how the welding torch is, uh, is actually Y? We're, gonna, um, we're actually going to change that. So we're going to click on this and we're going to press T, as in Tango, for that to, to bring up the torch. Now for this uh, deployment sentry gun right here, we're going to click on that and we're going to press P, as in Papa. Right? Now, that should get us the controls that we need. We're going to hit back, we're going to hit back again, and we're going to hit resume. Okay? Nothing happens yet, but we're going to hit enter, we're going to hit uh, the, the, the left angle bracket, C-H-E-A-T, right angle bracket, space, M-P-S, C-H-U-C-K-I-T That's just, that's the code for uh, all weapons and ammo in case you're wondering. And we're gonna hit enter. We're gonna hear that sound if it did correct. Uh, now I'm gonna hit H and I've got uh, the hacking tool. We're gonna see if the torch works by pressing T. And look at that, we've got the torch. So that is how you download and install AVP2 Primal Hunt, uh, and that's how you also get the Torch and the Hacking Tool work. So, uh, again, I'm going to say if you think I've deserved it, throw me a like, say something down in the comments, uh, I'm going to shoot this guy, and I hope this helped. Um, so yeah, I guess that's about it. <laughs> I'll see you later. Deuces.